In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a low throttle fail safe with your easy UHF transmitter and receiver combo and PixHawk. The easy UHF transmitter is connected to this Futaba T14SG. And in a previous video, I demonstrated how to do this with FreeSky Tyrannus with channel five that actually triggers your flight mode into RTL upon loss of signal. In taking that approach of setting your RTL flight mode upon loss of signal for your failsafe is not recommended, mainly because if your receiver loses power, it will not trigger into the RTL flight mode. So let's go ahead and set this up. Right now I'm looking at the failsafe configuration screen in Mission Planner. You'll see that my PWM for channel three, which is my throttle, is around 1092, and the FS PWM is 975 and the current state for failsafe is disabled. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to bring our throttle all the way down and we're gonna trim all the way down to get that PWM as low as we can. Now taking a look at Mission Planner, you can see that our channel three PWM now rests at 993. So with that low throttle PWM, I'll go ahead and click and hold failsafe bind and our low throttle PWM has been set. We'll go ahead and bring the trim on this throttle back up to the midpoint. And just as a quick test, I'm going to turn off the power to the transmitter and you'll see that we've dropped from 1093 to 993. I'll turn it back on and we should see this jump back up to the zero throttle value. Now our next step is to configure what type of failsafe we want to enable. In my case, I'm going to select enabled always RTL, but you obviously have other options. So choose what's appropriate for you. Now let's set our failsafe PWM. Now it's recommended to set this at least 10 values above what your value is when your throttle is all the way down and your transmitter powered off. So in my case, that's gonna be roughly 1003. And at the same time, you wanna make sure that this value is at least 10 units below your pulse width when your throttle is all the way down. So in this case, ours is 1093, 1003 over here, so we're definitely less than 10 units. And I'm assuming that's just in case there's any fluctuation in your pulse width. You don't want to accidentally trigger failsafe. And finally, my $100 tip, this is something that always got me when I first started setting this up, is this value actually hasn't been saved. So what you need to do is just click off of it and then that failsafe PWM will be written. Otherwise, it's gonna stay at the default value. Okay, let's verify this setup. I have my transmitter, I have one motor there just so you guys can see it in action. I'm gonna go ahead and press the PixHawk button and then I'll arm it. You can see on the screen it shows we're armed and our current throttle value is 1093. I'll go ahead and turn off the Futaba and you can see immediately it disarmed itself. And that's the default behavior when you're on the ground and less than two meters away from home. So let me go ahead and just turn that transmitter back on. You can see that our throttle value jumped back up. For the next test, sometimes I get lucky in the garage and you can see that I do have a GPS 3D fix indoors, so that's good. We'll go back to our failsafe setup. Let's do our next failsafe test. I'm going to arm, go to mid throttle, then turn off the transmitter. So I'm going to turn it off now. Now it's executing the land command. Now it landed because I was within two meters of the home location. I'm unable to do this in the field today. Otherwise I would have flown it out beyond two meters, turned off the transmitter and it would have executed the RTL. So I'll definitely share that in an upcoming video. The last thing I'd like to demonstrate is actually taking over control when you're in a fail safe mode. So what I'll do is repeat the last test, but I'll turn the transmitter back on while it's trying to land. And then what we'll need to do is toggle our flight mode switch just to tell PixHawk that we want to take control. So I'll arm again. 
go to mid throttle, turn off the transmitter. You see it's in the land command, but I'm actually going to take over and then change my flight mode and you'll see that now I'm in position hold and then I can go up to stabilize. And lastly, if you guys are anything like me, you like to know the actual parameters that are being changed when you're messing around with the Mission Planner GUI. You can see that fail safe throttle enable, that's set to one, meaning it's enabled. The value of 1003 that we set. And there's a lot more fail safe values like battery voltage and so on. So I have those configured. We'll get into those in a future video. But I wanted to demonstrate these values that are being updated. That's how you set up radio failsafe with PixHawk in the Easy UHF system. When I first started flying, I didn't really pay any attention to failsafe, and I've been in a few situations where I've really needed it, and it's come in handy. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.